Microsoft's Edge has Copilot, Chrome aces Google's own AI services, Safari is just meh. But what about Brave? I mean, the safest browser in the world was kind of feeling lonely without an AI chatbot. To fix this loneliness, Brave came up with its own AI chatbot called Leo. What is it good for? How does it work? Is it better than others? Let's find out. First things first, Leo isn't just any regular chatbot. It respects your privacy, keeps your information safe, and is actually quite intelligent. It is built directly into the Brave browser, which means you can access it without installing any extension engines or apps. Still, if you are like me and you cannot find things, just open Brave and click on the sidebar. Bang! You can now start talking to Leo. After using this chatbot for a while, I can say that it can do pretty much everything Microsoft Edge's built-in Copilot does. Since I am a Microsoft Edge user, I can say that it can do all the standard things I am used to on Edge. Summing up articles, answering your questions, creating new content, and switching between languages. It nails everything. But they're not selling the fact that it can help. They are selling it on the name of something more important, your privacy and security. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, Brave claims that this chatbot is all about keeping your information private. It doesn't save your chats or ask for any personal details. The tale starts back in August when Brave debuted Leo for testing and the response from its users came out to be positive. They have since been improving it. The announcement that Leo is now available to all desktop users as well as a Leo Premium with additional benefits and faster answers was made public by Brave on November 2nd, 2023. As I mentioned earlier, the chatbot is very useful because it can summarize movies or articles, find reasonable answers based on what you're viewing online, and even explain what you're doing. It can do a bunch of other cool things too, all thanks to AI tech from Claude Instant by Anthropics. I mean, you shouldn't be deprived of modern ways of browsing the internet just because you're using a browser meant to keep your information private. You're able to remain anonymous thanks to Brave's secret agent style approach. As soon as you finish talking to Leo, the chatbot acts as if the conversation never took place. This means that no one is interrupting you or listening to what you have to say and that you are receiving all the knowledge. The artificial intelligence technology developed by Claude Instant by Anthropics also allows it to accomplish a plethora of other neat things. They have a paid version too. It's called Leo Premium and it provides additional benefits and features. Priced at $15 per month, Leo Premium offers access to Claude Instant from Anthropics. Not only does it enable a faster response time from the chatbot, but it also enhances the conversational experience, making it feel more akin to interacting with a human. Leo Premium excels in handling intricate questions and generating more sophisticated responses, including those presented in specific formats like tables or comprehensive documents. Premium also introduces exclusive functionalities, such as tackling challenging puzzles or receiving assistance with mathematical and coding issues. It proves to be an ideal choice for individuals requiring Leo for more extensive and detailed tasks. I have mentioned privacy on multiple occasions, but what actually does this chatbot refrain from that the others tend to do quite often? To be honest, there are a lot of things, and on the other side of the picture, most chatbots don't treat user privacy with the same level of seriousness. For example, Bing's chatbot transmits your browsing information to Bing for potential use in advertisements, and ChatGPT requires users to sign up and agree to terms that could allow the utilization of their information for research. In contrast, Leo eliminates the need for an account or any contractual agreements. Users can engage in anonymous chats because Leo employs a technique known as anonymized reverse proxy. It remains unaware of your identity, location, or the device you're using. Not only that, Leo does not store your conversations on its servers, ensuring that once your chat is concluded, there is no record of it whatsoever. These privacy measures play a pivotal role in safeguarding users from potential data breaches, protecting against online tracking preventing the display of targeted ads based on personal data, and ensuring that user data is not used in ways they did not explicitly agree to. Now, this chatbot also does something that even the most seasoned one, ChatGPT, does not. You can either type your questions or even click the microphone icon to speak. In the settings, you can change the language and voice settings or access premium features if you're subscribed. If you wanted to summarize info, translate, or create content, there are buttons for that too. You have the option to provide feedback on Leo's responses, by using thumbs up or thumbs down, report any issues, or share responses with others. To achieve this functionality, premium version of Leo assigns an unlinkable token upon registration to secure the subscription verification process, which means that Brave cannot link usage activities with user purchase information, ensuring complete privacy. Leo can even generate visuals
tools, such as charts, upon request. For mobile users, Brave has scheduled the release of Leo on iOS and Android in early 2024. You can experience the same convenient features and privacy protections as the desktop version directly from your phone or tablet. As I was researching this video, I found out that users have found delight in utilizing this chatbot due to its speed, privacy features, and adeptness in tasks such as summarization and translation. It has evolved into a daily essential for over a million individuals, receiving high praise for its convenience and robust features. With all that greatness, I still found many people complaining on different social media platforms, as Leo occasionally encounters challenges with intricate queries or ends up with technical hiccups, indicating areas for improvement in handling more complex tasks. In response, Brave is taking steps to fine-tune Leo's capabilities and introduce new options, all while maintaining a focus on user privacy and responsible AI usage. The chatbot has a tech side that involves using different AI language models. These models help Leo do various things and come up with different answers. At its core, Leo uses Meta's Long L2, a big language model that's open source and based on Microsoft's Turing NLG. Another one is Llama 2, which can handle tasks like talking casually, analyzing text, summarizing, and understanding documents. For Leo's premium users, there's also Anthropic's Claude Instant, which we talked about earlier. It's a special model for premium users that's faster, preciser, and safer. It can do things like logical reasoning, help with coding, handle math problems, and work in multiple languages. The chatbot can switch between these models based on what the user needs and can even combine the results to give a better answer. Key figures in the development of Brave's Leo chatbot include Brian Bondi, the chief technology officer and co-founder of Brave, along with the Anthropic team, the creators of the AI assistant Claude Instant, available with the Leo premium subscription. Brian Bondi stressed the importance of prioritizing privacy in AI, aligning with Brave's dedication to integrating AI with user privacy. Additionally, Matt Bell, Anthropic's head of production research, highlighted the potential for AI to enhance browsing and productivity in an intuitive, contextual manner. These contributors have played a crucial role in creating and implementing the privacy-centric AI assistant Leo within the Brave browser. Lastly, I would like to talk about an article that was published on PC World. People from this website try to inquire about the 2020 US presidential elections, and this showed the discrepancies between the paid and the free version of the chatbot. The free version of Leo, powered by a 13 billion parameter model, avoided giving a direct answer and suggested respecting different views. The paid version of Leo, powered by a 70 billion parameter model or a separate model by Anthropic, gave a clear, factual answer that Joe Biden won the election. Leo's discrepancy raises questions and concerns. The article questions why the free version of Leo refused to acknowledge Biden's victory and whether it could be seen as a form of election denial or disinformation. The article also notes that Brave did not respond to the queries about the models and the training data and that Leo's responses changed after the queries were sent. Will Brave's Leo truly turn out to be brave enough to provide factful information without any biases? The story will unfold in the near future. Subscribe to Innovella for more blues from the world of AI. Talking about internet security, things are going to change dramatically as quantum computing becomes more common. But how? To find out, click on the video link popping up and I will catch you there in a second.